I'm M. H. Ross, the administrator at Fairmont Clinic, and Mr. Thompson, if you'll be good enough to identify yourself, would you give your name, please? Frank Thompson. And uh, would you uh, tell me uh, where you're employed now and what you've done in the past, just briefly, to uh, identify well, yourself? Well, I, I was in Fairmont State College for two years. Uh, did some work in theater and English. Uh, then um, I'm now working at the uh, Fairmont Hotel full time. I'm not in school any longer. All right, and I, as I understand from what you told me on another occasion, you expect to you expect shortly to be joining uh, government service and yeah, peace something corps, like something like that. Uh, Mr. Thompson, it was about two weeks ago, I believe, that. I learned uh, through uh, parties in Fairmont that uh, you had uh, been in a conversation with one of the clinic employees which had taken on a very significant uh, cast and I asked you to talk with me at that time, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So that uh, you were willing to come to uh, my home and we talked there. Uh, and I've asked you here today, which is uh, uh, Saturday, uh, March 29, 1969, in order to be sure that my recollection of the facts that you gave me at that time is correct. Would you uh, tell me uh, if you know Mrs. Leslie Thompson? Um, I, I'll say... I'm acquainted with her. All right, and uh, are you acquainted with her husband as well? Uh, yes, Mr. Ross. He, um, I, he was. Uh, he's a member of the speech faculty, and speech was my major field. And I had him for a couple of speech classes, and and I've uh, seen him socially before. And you know. Do you regard yourself as uh, a close friend of the Thompsons? Anything on this one? No, no, I wouldn't say that. All right. Would you mind uh, just telling me in your own way what uh, what happened that you told me on a night uh, at the, um, uh, was it the Wesley Foundation or where yes, was that? Yes, Dr. Hunter was speaking at the Wesley Foundation mm -hmm. on drugs and... Uh, what the, night was that, if you recall? That was uh, and we can March 8th or 9th, I'm not All sure right. which. Of this year, 1969. Right. Okay. And, um, well, he was giving a talk on drugs, and the Thompsons were there. They were sitting next to me. And Mr. Thompson was taping the, uh, you know, the mm -hmm. Dr. Hunter's speech, you know, on drugs, and sort of an informal thing. Uh... After the um, after the uh, talk was over, uh, I had a drink with the uh, with the Thompsons. Did you leave the place you were at? And go yes, to? yes, yes. Okay. And uh, uh, as we were going in the car, uh, is it necessary that I say the place or anything? Um, not if you don't care to. He, no. You left uh, the well, place yeah, where the speech was yeah, and we went to another place. public place, I think. Right, okay. yeah, right. And um, Leslie Thompson said some uh, things about uh, Dr. Hunter handing out drugs as if they were candy. Uh, something, the first, I think the lead in to her comments uh, was that. Um, Dr. Hunter really had uh, no reason to be giving any talks on the use or misuse of drugs since he was the, uh, a great violator of drugs. Um, I, I can't remember what her exact words were. She said, uh, I, since I can't remember her exact words, I'll say something that is synonymous with what she said. And that was that he was uh, one of the most no, the most flagrant violator of uh, uh, drugs uh, at the clinic and misuse of drugs. She said that he uh, passed them out like candy, you know, it didn't make any as difference. As far as you know, Ms. Uh, 
Thompson is not a, a, a professional in the health field uh, in any way. Well, I, I thought she was a clerk. I, I don't know. I don't think she's even, I don't know, she, she might be a nurse. I Had you said anything to bring on this discussion? Had you uh, led into it in no, any no. particular as way? No, no. As she went on, it was quite hmm. apparent that she needed no catalyst, you know, that she was ready to, you know, say the things she, you know, was going to say. Uh, and you did not uh, know her well enough at this point for no it wasn't said in confidence mm -hmm. uh you know i mean i we have no confidence because i don't know her and mm -hmm. and uh that's why you know i was sitting in the back seat and I, it was just rather strange that she would just come right out with these remarks and did she have and, anything else hostile to say about dr hunter as the conversation oh continued? well she it was she said that he uh uh, would say things like, uh, sh sh no, I don't really know a thing about medicine, you know. I mean, I don't know what these, you know. She said something about shoot someone up with uh, 20 cc's of Librium or something, send them home, get them out of my hair. Uh, you know, I can't be bothered with them. And, and she uh, implied, well, she didn't really imply, she just plain old said that, you know, that Dr. Hunter shot patients up with drugs, you know, just to sort of get them out of his hair. And, and of course, you know, I couldn't understand where the conversation was leading or how, you know, it even started. But I was, but I said, well, I'm sure, you know, that you can't make a generalization like that. I said to her that you, you have to know about certain cases and, and, uh, and I said, you know, I don't know anything about Dr. Hunter's cases, uh, and uh, and I, I asked her if she knew anything about particular cases, and of course, she didn't reply. You know, she didn't reply to this, but uh, that sort of then she sort of left the drug business. Uh, um, you know, and, and said something about. Uh, Oh, then, 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 then we arrived at the place. This was where you were gone. Where you had where gone to have uh, drinks. The after drink, the right? Meeting. Everything that the, the, I've up to now was in the car. Far was okay. right, right in the car. And okay. when we got in the uh, in the place in the bar, um, <clears throat> uh, she, she said something about uh, uh, Doctor Hunter being a hog for the limelight, uh, loving attention, uh, being uh, very arrogant. And uh, and uh, that she couldn't she couldn't believe that he had turned down uh, a trip to Washington uh, because he um, she said that he would I don't know he wouldn't pass up a chance like that all the newspaper reporters and everything like that implying that you know I don't know she was referring you think to the uh, fact that the newspapers at that point were carrying. Uh, Accounts of his testimony before yes, Senate subcommittee yeah, right. on and, and I think this had something to do with safety. him being invited uh, back there, mm -hmm. you know, for another At session. The or something. point you think was what the discussion was uh, in relation to some upcoming yes, proposed it was. testimony. Yeah, right. Yes, okay. quite. And she, I don't know how well I don't know how she knew about it. Uh, and so, of course, I. I didn't well, did she seem to be having a viewpoint about the miners or more about Dr. Hunter? I mean, was oh, all well, of her had nothing to do with the question. She of wasn't pro or con on the issues uh, uh, that were being oh, discussed. Oh, no, no, no. It had nothing to do with any, uh, you know, it wasn't any sort of was academic there? discussion <laughs> about it. It was plain old, you know, uh, chops on Dr. Hunter and any way she could get them into the conversation. In fact, it sort of stifled the evening because she insisted on talking about and against uh, Dr. Hunter that, you know... Now you sat down with the two Thompsons right. for, at a, a social, wherever you arrived, at a club, I take it, and... Well, it uh, didn't turn out to be very social, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> I, and the three of you were together, yeah. and she continued, I gather from what you just now said, to focus her attention on talking yes, in yes. this vein about... And Dr. after Hunter. she left the... Uh, business about Washington, the black lung thing, I don't think even having mentioned the word, you know, the phrase black lung or, mm -hmm. you know, or anything mm -hmm. like that, she doesn't, you know, she wasn't talking about that. She was talking about Dr. Hunter, you know, hogging the limelight and all this. Mm -hmm. business. Well, anyway, then the next thing she got into was, uh, 
she asked me if the uh, if Dr. Hunter's children lived with uh, she asked me if Dr. Hunter's children lived with Isabel, and I took her to mean uh, I took that to mean Mrs. Hunter, uh, Dr. Hunter's Her, former yeah, former, former wife. wife, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and I said yes, I believe the children live with uh, Mrs. Hunter, uh, that is the mm -hmm. former Mrs. Hunter, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> and she said something to the effect of uh, thank God. I implying that they really wouldn't be, uh, you know, in the most desirable place for the children wouldn't be with their father, because could of you, the things that she, mm -hmm. I guess, said about. Could you before. account in any way in the course of the conversation for her focus of attention on Dr. Hunter? I mean, did she ever well, uh, cite a grievance, or did she cite any? issue of any, anything of substance that was uh, well the thing bothered. that I I think that you know I I'm not going into any you know analysis of you know of what no I wondered if she had about said or, or anything like anything. that but it, it's it, it became apparent that for some reason you know she has quite a vendetta you know for dr. hunter and uh, and I don't know what it's based on. I, I can say one thing that it is based on some anti-intellectual thing that she has because she spoke. Um, yeah, she what makes scoffed. you say that? I'd, I'd like you to She follow. scoffed at the words that Dr. Hunter used in his uh, in his talk at the coffee house. Um, this was on uh, drug use uh, on and abuse. Drug, okay. drug use and abuse, and it became. Uh, uh, sort of apparent that she wasn't, she simply didn't understand what Dr. Hunter was saying. And her husband said to her, I understood every word that Dr. Hunter said. What had she said had, to make him say? Well, she said, that the, she said that the words Dr. Hunter used weren't even words, that he was just flashing them around to impress people. And of course her husband said, no, that's not true at all because, you know, he you know, all the words he said, he, that, you know, he was familiar he, with. He, this is Mr. Thompson, Mr. Thompson uh, understood familiar, the context right. and the use of the words. Yes, so, right. Okay. Right. And but I, this was to you an example of uh, her sort of hang-up, uh, in, in citing that yeah. as another thing. Yeah. Um, did your social evening uh, then continue for the most part in this vein? You, you been, well, such as it was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like I say, you know, I couldn't get very far because she was, you know, she had sort of designs, you know. I mean, like, uh, you know, she was, you know, she wanted to talk about one thing, and that was why she, not why, but what was wrong with Dr. Hunter, you know. And uh, so things didn't get much further than that. And let me see, I think she might have said, uh, well, she sa she said numerous things that were small and pointed. All you know the things that if you think of them, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah, I really can't think of all of them right now. Uh, Mr. Thompson, we had to cut the machine off for a minute for a phone call, and just before we got back on, you mentioned. Uh, thinking of something else uh, that Ms. Thompson said in enlarging something you'd said earlier. So if you want to just tell that one. Well, I think probably uh, uh, this was really the crux of the, this was really the crux of the whole, of the whole talk when she said, I, I, I failed to place uh, enough, enough emphasis on this point earlier. But uh, as I recall, she went on and said uh, that um, Dr. Hunter uh, didn't want to be bothered with patients, so as a result, of course I'm paraphrasing, he gave them the drugs that would gave them drugs that would quiet them or contain them, and she didn't use any words like that. Uh, to get them out of his hair. Do you remember what she did say? I think you'd said earlier, uh, fill them with 20 oh, she said, phrases. Yes, yeah, like she it. said, uh, uh, give them 20 cc's of Librium, uh, get them out of my hair. 
uh, you know, se uh, send them home, you know, uh, you know, I'm tired, you know, and she just sort of, you know, went, um, you know, I don't even know if she said, you know, I'm tired, but she implied that Dr. Hunter was, you know, just re neglectful, just plain neglectful of, of his patients. patients is what you're saying. Quite, right, this and resorted to drugs, you know, right. to get them out of the way. All right, let me go back just a minute, Mr. Thompson. Uh, do you have any connection, whatever, with uh, uh, the uh, board of directors here at the at the clinic? With uh, any, are you related to any employee? No. Uh, do you have any connection whatsoever? In no, 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 no sort of, you know, uh, relative or anything on this order. Right, no, okay. no, no. I just uh, secondly, can you recall? In other words, was there any grounds for Mrs. Thompson talking this much to you against Dr. Hunter? In other words, had you seen her before? You, I forget what well, you used. You said you were acquainted with her. Yeah, I uh, met her, um, as I think I said earlier, uh, uh, one time uh, while I was working at the hotel. Uh, she was at, it was in fact at the clinic, uh, at the clinic party. Is this because you were a client, you were a hotel employee? Yes, okay. yes, yes. I, I, and I she was, was working at the, behind uh, the bar, right. and uh, uh, and that was the only the first time you saw her and you talked with her at that occasion. Yes, right. Okay, right. so you had no grounds for friendship, no uh, grounds for confidence. No, that, no, no. Okay, between you. Um, well, in in uh, being willing to talk with me this way, uh, what what background have you got? You say you were at the college and uh, you're at the hotel now for, in other words, in, in what way, I think you told me uh, before we uh, went on the, uh, um, uh, this tape, that it, this was uh, uh, shocking to you. What was it coming up against? In other words, what was the reputation or anything, at, you know, the clinic that you had heard of? Well, uh, although, uh, I know Dr. Hunter, I, his reputation, uh, as far as I can see, well, in my own thinking, was not established by anything that Dr. Hunter ever told me, but it was things that were said to me by people all around me, in, on all levels, in all areas. Such as, give me some Such examples. Such as, okay, uh, the, uh, the college, uh, it was evident the night Dr. Hunter gave his talk, you know, uh, mm -hmm. You know, I don't know how, you know, whether people were being patronizing or what, but when they referred to him as Dr. Murray, you know, what does this imply, you know? A lot of, a lot of people... Uh, you mean a I, lot of his patients are, are, oh, he, are at the college? Yes, okay. right. A, lo mm -hmm. a, a, a lot of mm -hmm. college kids who have emotional problems and mm -hmm. stuff like that are willing to talk to Dr. Hunter when they won't talk to anyone else, and I know that is a plain oh. fact. A lot, uh, several people that I know. So the college and students uh, are one group. Yes, right. Are aware of a certain reputation up to them. Yes, and um, another area, um, the, um, the uh, at the hotel, um, I I work with uh, uh, most of the people in the uh, most of the people in the kitchen and most of the people who have been there for a long time are uh, of low income you know of a low income group and a, a lot of black people who are on my waiting staff who've been there for many many years uh, uh, two of them at least have told me that dr hunter came to their house in jackson edition for a house call when no one else in the town would come you know when they couldn't get anyone else, and and it and they and that, you know, they, they thought that Dr. Hunter was you know was really great, and of course they're not prepared, of course, to speak from any medical standpoint. It's just plain old trust that they have in the man. And uh, what about the clinic now? How does the clinic's reputation stand in the areas aside from Dr. Hunter? Well, as far as I could see, Mr. Ross, uh, I mean, I I really you know I don't know about all these things, but as far as I can see, uh, a facility like the clinic must must really be established with the community uh, uh, in a way that the, the community is able to put its trust in, in into the into the clinic, you know, and and the people that 
that the clinic deals with, I think, a lot of, you know, coal miners and people and relative, a lot of uneducated people and, and, and you know, and, you know, people like this, that if, uh, it's a, since the whole thing is on trust and since they can't come in and evaluate what the place is medically, they have to, they have to just go on, you know, on just sort of, just on trust, just plain faith. Well, that's all. Then, and I think that the comments felt, that, mm -hmm. that Leslie yeah. Thompson made are a, are a threat to this faith that the, all these people have mm -hmm. in in the clinic. And and I think that uh, well, they're just plain slanderous remarks that she that she made. And and I think they the reason I felt I could talk about this that I mm -hmm. should in fact talk about it was because I think that it is it poses a de this sort of talk on any scale in any area I've mentioned about three or four areas you know any of those areas if, if any of this talk you know were mm -hmm. uh, in any of those areas yes. it, it it would pose a definite threat to the clinic as I say which I think is based on security and trust that the community puts in it and, and I just think that you know it's just really a bad move you know I don't think it well I take it that uh, when you first were willing to talk to me uh, a couple of weeks ago you were saying that this was a distasteful thing to do under any other circumstances to talk about somebody you know in a way that might possibly you know get them in trouble but you felt there were overriding considerations and I think you've just tried to speak quite, about those now is that quite, that's what true. you feel and, and uh, another thing is um, I uh, knew the Vista workers in uh, in Fairmont uh, in fact worked with them at the friendship room at the Jewish uh, Center and uh, uh, went to Weston a couple of times with them mm -hmm. and things and, and I'm, I really am interested in mental health and mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, you know this type of thing uh, and and remarks like this just really you know aren't any good um, well a uh, doctor's care of a patient who may be disturbed and all is a very fragile thing, I think is what you're trying to say. Oh, and, right. a, and a person right. to judge how much of a shot they should have or shouldn't have is a, is a very I serious thing. I had all sorts of, person. you know, uh, graphic pictures of Leslie Thompson, uh, Leslie Thompson's talk about this thing filtering down, you know. She mm -hmm. is associated with the college community because her husband mm -hmm is a faculty member there and she you know she is a resident of the town and uh, and, and she, she spoke work so free clinic, she right clinic, she works yeah. at the clinic and she mm -hmm. spoke so freely with me i couldn't help but think that she had spoken just as freely with other people on other occasions and and and, and i uh, and i just think it would be just plain detrimental to the to the to the clinic's reputation well, thank you, Mr. Thompson, for being willing to talk with me about this matter, and I'm sorry, you know, a thing like this had to come up to bring us together so that we got acquainted under, you know, these circumstances, but thank you again for being willing to be taped. I'm sorry I got all tongue-tied. That's all right. Jeez. Um, you didn't.